Oh, we're almost back. We are back. All right, so uh, let's go back into session. So um, I understand that we uh, inadvertently did not approve the agenda prior to Mr. Wynn's presentation. So I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda. I move to approve the agenda. Is that a second? All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, agenda is approved. Apologize. All right. Um, so the next thing on the agenda is to discuss topics for the um, trifold boards that we're going to be using at emergency preparation committee events. Diana. Okay, thank you very much. Can go on those trifold boards that we showed at our last meeting, and uh, I'm I call your attention to the screen up there. I assume this uh, remote control will work. I have a hard copy if all else fails. Anyway, I would estimate that on those display boards, we could probably fit up to about 12, maybe 14 sheets of paper. So anyway, this would be, uh, I encourage your comments on what else we might have or what could be done better. So here's sort of the, the title uh, that would go on here. You know, it's all up to you. And so keep in mind that when people are going by this, you can't go into a lot of detail. You've got to get their attention. If they can just retain what's on two or three slides, we'll be happy. So let's say, okay, there are four main hazards that are most likely to affect you here. What are they? They're earthquake, fire, landslide, mudslide, tsunami, and to a very lesser extent, per the most recent hazard mitigation study, uh, things like terrorism or transportation accidents. So these are the four things that we want you to be prepared for. And here are the five steps you need to take after a major disaster strikes. These are ripped off straight from our website. Mm -hmm. Obviously, protect yourself and your family. A, go to a safe area, and give first aid if anyone's injured. Secondly, um, check the condition of things around you and shut off the meter or, uh, or the mains. Check the condition of your home. Third, post your signs on your, the front of your house. Fourth, check on your neighbors. And finally, if the damage is so bad you have to evacuate, go to a neighborhood gathering site. This is what we've already put out on the website. That's good. So that's Great. what you do afterwards. But before the disaster strikes, there's some other things you really need to do to make sure what happens after, after the disaster isn't worse than it needs to be. So before the disaster strikes, once again, this is straight from the Beauty and the Beast presentation. Number one, make a plan. Um, have these contacts, uh, know where your family will meet. Secondly, be informed. And third, create your disaster supply kit. And that's bolded here because it goes into the next uh, slide that everyone needs to have on hand enough water and food to take them through uh, the period at hand. And drinking water is obviously the 10 to 14 day supply with one gallon per person. Have shelf stable foods you can eat without cooking. Uh, obviously you need the can opener and disposable utensils. You want to have first aid supplies and you want fire extinguishers. These are the most essential items. But everybody will need to adjust their kit to reflect what is most appropriate for their household. So besides these absolute essentials of enough water and food, you also need your hygiene items and medicines. You need a radio, uh, flashlights of course, we want to make sure you have copies of any important documents and have a thumb drive of your computer files. Also, there are other items that might be appropriate for your household, whether it's baby supplies, pet foods. Uh, you might want to have some blankets or sleeping bags, uh, duct tape, scissors, sheeting, and whatever. You need to prepare your home against major impacts. Uh, for, for example, in the event of an earthquake, you really need to have all your heavy items braced that might topple. This is no secret, this is all from the Beauty and the Beast. You need to prevent any hazardous items from tipping over. If you have any, anything in your garage with gasoline, propane, or other explosive solvents or cleaning supplies, make sure they're not gonna tip over. Finally, for wild fire safety, because we do live in the hillside area here, you need to take steps to reduce your fire risks. Always have that 30-foot brush clearance, replace your wood shake roofs if possible, install, um, narrow opening uh, mesh screens, have an evacuation kit if you're asked to leave in the event of a fire so you can grab your valuable items, important documents, and computer files. Obviously, in the case of a fire, you'll be gone for a short period of time, not a long one. 
So just to remind you, our Emergency Preparedness Committee regularly speaks with homeowner associations and other groups. We have a presentation we're glad to give to you and your group. Uh, keeping in mind it's not a question of if a disaster will hit, but when. And so please visit the website for more information on how you can be prepared. Here it is, and you can point and click to get all the information you need 24-7. And here's an example of what our website page looks at. Uh, looks like just click on any of the icons for more information. That's what I have so far. And that would be pasted up on those uh, trifold boards. Obviously, it would be nice to have some photographs to go with it, and I haven't gotten that far yet. Anyway, in a nutshell, that's what I've done. What else would you suggest? Well, I think that's yeah, really I outstanding. I, that, yeah. I think it's really outstanding. I was just thinking as you were giving that presentation, you could almost come by with your cell phone and snap a picture of those things and mm -hmm. really have a ton of information. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I, I, off the top of my head, have no suggestions. I think it's really great work. Yeah, so basically, just be laid out sort of like this, and as, mm -hmm. as people walk by, they can hopefully read something of interest and take something away. They won't take everything away, but... Just anything is better than nothing. No, I think it's great. Agree. Mm -hmm. Agree. Okay, well, if you approve of this, then um, I'll be glad to come by Tracy's office with my Elmer's glue stick. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We'll put that on. Yeah. Uh, we okay. have arts and crafts day. Unless yeah. there are any comments from the committee, I would make a motion to approve the event board topics prepared by Diana. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Good, Aye. good job. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. That is really great. Um, last item on the agenda is the 4th of July event. Very important. Tracy. Yes, yes, very important. It's that time of year again. It yes. is that already. My gosh, we've had a few together now. This is, this is pretty good. Um, we, I just the same thing. I just want to get an idea of who can be at the booth if they can. You're out of town, right? I'm out of town. Okay. Um, but I'm you're going to help me. Yeah. Tracy on the 26th. 26th. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to get together. And with I me can and certainly be there, there in the morning as usual and help as set usual. up and work the, the early shift. Okay, Tim early. Gotcha. And this is on the actual okay. fourth, right? I mean, it's on that Friday. Oh, yes. On that Friday. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And I'll give you the time. I think we'll probably get started at 8.30 or something like that or, okay. or whatever. Um, what do you think, Keith, are you, if you can be there? Or? Yeah, I can be there. Yeah? You yeah. want to do like more of a afternoon-ish? Or? Wherever you need me. Wherever I need you. Okay. Okay. What about Diana? Okay. I'm pretty much uh, free now. I'm not going to uh, serve at that event in uh, Marina Del Rey. So if I can be out no later than... Um, uh, about 3.45, okay. but I can be there from the start at 10 a.m. Okay. And uh, go on till like after 3 or something. 10.3, okay. I can round up the end of the day. Um, when does 10, it end officially? I think it's 5 o'clock still. I think that's and the, the event officially starts when? It's like 10. At 10, yeah. so 8.30, it really gives an hour and a half to set up. Right, be good. exactly. And we're getting pretty good at it, so yeah. I don't think we really yeah. need to be there like at okay. 8.30. But I'll bring donuts again. I like yeah. that. <laughs> um, so Diana, 10 to 3. I can cover the latter part of the day if you, know, if you need to do things or whatever with your family. Yeah. Um, so do you want to kind of show up like you did last year and just yeah. kind of hang out with Tim and I for a while? Yeah, or? I'll help be able to set up because that kind of seems like the moving things around, setting things up. So That'd be good. I'll try, I, I'm not working the day before, so okay. you don't have to get, yeah, yeah, she helped me last year. I, I did. <laughs> do we have um, Do we have all the giveaways and all that stuff? We do. Okay. Um, I'm just in the midst of right now. Um, I went major surplus. I said we need more backpacks. We do have some more in stock, so okay. we have enough to get us through. Okay. Um, but I do have all the glow sticks and all the giveaways Great. and all the little. And are we giving any backpacks away, or are we like we used to, or not? I'd no. like to. I, I mean, I'd love to. Couple. Yeah. 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 We could do that. Do the okay. little drawing thing. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so we'll do the drawing for the backpacks. Um, we got the shift straight. I'm, I'm going to be there all day, but if, you know, I'm not going to be there with you guys all sure. the time. I'll wander yeah. off and then come yeah. back, but I'll make sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and are we going to have the two tables again? We're going to have two tables. Okay, right. and, oh, yeah. Um, it's not only us. It's going to be um, West Face and Water. It's going to be um, the COG, mm -hmm. uh, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to be Red Cross just confirmed a couple days ago Great. that they are going to have a table with us. So. I'm working with Michael Bell, the event um, you know, planner, program, mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. I'm trying my hardest to get us all together in one Perfect. line. Perfect. Yeah. 
and he seems to think he can do that. But the electricity might be a question of getting that out to where we're going to have our tables. So if he can't, um, I have this solar powered. It was given to all the Area G cities. It's like this, and we're charging it right now. It's a solar power thing that you're supposed to be able to run your laptops and your phones off of and all that stuff. So I might be able to get that together for us. If we can't get electricity to the booth, we can run a laptop off that. So that's what we're doing. Beauty and the Beast presentation. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, because okay. we talked about that in another yeah. meeting. Okay, uh, uh, one thought about using a notebook computer in a bright environment, your screen may wash out to the mm -hmm. point of being unusable. Right. At Ham Radio's field day, we had that experience. Even though we were under a canopy, the light was so bright, the screen just was almost unreadable. Hmm. Well, we're going to be under a canopy, but maybe we could use the other divider to kind of make a hood over the computer, like a shade. Yeah, you need something like I could, that. We could do something like that, yeah. And I could even cut it in half if it's too big or whatever. Now, cause okay, when you said two tables, are those two tables exclusively for us or to be shared with those other organizations? Only for us. Okay. I'm, I'm specifically asking um, two tables just for us, our right. committee, so we can spread out and have our, our What goodies. does uh, uh, West Basin plan to just water, kind of what when he came and gave the, when Marilyn and, and uh, I forget the gentleman's name, but he came and gave that presentation about water and how it is, and, and uh, he's just going to have things on his table that have to do with water conservation, uh, different Good. things like that. Yeah, just informational brochures okay. that they give out, and um, I think he'll be, I think he's going to be the one to be there, so he'll have, you know, he can ask, answer questions and things like that from people. Red Cross, um, Red Cross is going to have one table. Um, Maryland and West Basin, they're asking for two, and we're going to have two. So that'll be our lineup. So, yeah. So, uh, Marty is going to get together with me on the 26th. We're going to get all the materials together that we're going to give out. And I think that about Do you need down. any more help during the setup uh, period? You I know could what? come no, earlier. Uh, the three of us handled it last year. Yeah, we've okay. got it pretty much cleaned up. Yeah, I can be there 10 to 5. Ooh, you can close with me. Okay. Oh, I like it. Are you sure you want to stay 10 to 5? That's a long time. Yeah, I, yeah. I can do it. Yeah, okay. no problem. All right. Jennifer, 10 to 5. Gotcha. So can you guys think of anything else um, that we're missing or you guys want to do, try, or whatever? Oh, the water? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was gonna, a big deal. That's a huge deal, yeah. I'm going to pull it out of the emergency caches and rotate the new water yeah. back in, and we'll have all the water just stacked up like we did last time and throwing it at people. It's a good lure. Yeah. Hot day. Here's some water. <laughs> Come on over and talk to us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I guess that's it, you guys. I'm I'm finished. <laughs> you get done. Trying to do that channel down there. Big pool. Check it. Nice. So we could. That's it. Yeah. All right. Motion to. Uh, well, not, no. oh, approve the. Yeah, the, the July 4th. The July 4th schedule as, uh, as discussed. I so move. Second. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Any opposed? All right. Uh, staff communications. I, tonight, I don't have anything. I kind of cleaned the slate because we had the presentation. Outstanding. So. Yes. Uh, committee. Jennifer. No, nothing. Diana. Well, I can always think of something, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll pass for now. Okay. All right. Marty? Uh, Keith? No. I just have a couple of quick things. First, I want to thank the committee for this for this evening and for participating, and thank staff for setting it up and doing such a great job. Um, one quick thing, I did have a chance to see the interview um, that RPV TV did. I don't, I don't know if Mark is hiding in there still, but uh, that Mark and uh, Maria did. Mm -hmm. um, and they've been uh, running that on Peninsula Beat, or is that it, Peninsula Beat? Is that mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's another. Um, there's another uh, sort of free publicity that we're getting some more publicity for the website. So hopefully we're getting some traffic. I don't know if there's a way for us to know how many people are visiting that site. I would be curious if it's easy to get that information to see if people are checking it out. There should be a way to get hits on the website. And I mean, I mean, just it's sort of informally, if we, if we could find out, I'd, I'd just be curious yeah. to know if people are actually going to the site and, and using it. Okay. Uh, if we can get hits so on the website. So that would be yeah, great. Number of hits. That would be great. Um, and that's all I had. Um, Public comments. <laughs> uh, the only thing I have is, is uh, uh, I kind of understand that some things are crazy. Uh, uh, we had a meeting uh, a couple of weeks ago with the new public works director. And she, she wants to equip his uh, uh, truck with, uh, uh, with, uh, with radios, business ad radios. And the outcome of that meeting was that we decided we were going to have a, a, a peninsula wide 
it, it's it's going to be part of um, we're we're hoping to get radios uh, for the EOC too, mm -hmm. for staff in there for the security EOC position that's outside at the parking lot, kind of making sure you know traffic uh, for traffic control. Um, we want radio uh, between the ECC and the EOC. Is we that a security position like the sheriff's department will be providing, or is that a staff position? That's a staff position, okay, and if so we need help, we'll of course have okay. to call the sheriffs to back us up. Um, but we're finally trying to get some kind of radio system done, and then the mm -hmm. new public works supervisor heard me talking about what I wanted to do for the EOC, and he said, hey, I would love my public works guys. To, I want to be able to talk to them, if not just on a cell phone. So that's how this thing got rolling with radios, and um, now we're finding out that we might want to branch it out, start, start small, get our public works hooked up, get the EOC <coughs> hooked up, start there, and then possibly expand it out into uh, radio communication on the Four Hill Cities, basically. Yeah, there's a, a technical issue in that to cover the entire city of RPV for public works, you'd almost need two separate repeaters in different locations, giving the, given the geography we have. So in our meeting, we discussed, well, what would be logical places for putting a repeater without having to go through a lot of um, landowner approval or whatever? And it also became apparent that, you know, there might be some sites in one of our adjacent cities that could cover the north side of RPV, for example. And uh, that's how we also uh, felt that it would be worthwhile to include these other cities because if there is an uh, area-wide disaster, quite likely our public works people may also have a need to talk to the public works people and say PVE or, or work together on some common thing like on a boundary uh, related road or, or issue. So there are a lot of things that uh, could be done with this, but it, it looks like it'll take more than one repeater to fully cover the city given our geography and terrain. And the city of Palos Verdes Estates has already found that out with its police department. As you may know, there's a second police department repeater on the top of RPV City Hall because they could not cover the southwest corner of their city from their existing uh, site, um, just a little ways uh, south of La Venta Inn. It turns out that in the agreement that RPV signed with PVE, there's a clause in there that the city of PVE will give uh, some courtesy to our city if our radio needs require something in their city on more of a reciprocal basis. Okay. So there are grounds for going further. So okay. yeah. to the extent that we can help, obviously, let mm -hmm. us know what we can do to help. Well, the, the first thing is, you know, there's, there's no money budgeted for it right now. This, this idea just started to kind of snowball and roll. Um, so I think the budgeting of the money isn't going to be an issue. Um, we're getting some costs, kind of getting some guesstimates right now okay. on things. And so what's going to happen is we met recently, Dale, me, Diana, um, um, gosh, Hutchins, Pat, Anyways, we met and talked about it, and they figured they're going to put a, put specs together, basically, and it's going to be in phases. And, mm -hmm. and the first phase we have and need to cover is going to be the EOC Public Works communication, and possibly our Rec and Parks people too, because they're out in the field with you know cell phones go down, no communication. Right. So, anyways, um, they're going to put together like a phase one plan to get us covered in that sense. And then we need to roll it over and see what we can do to tie into the other cities. Now that'll take some negotiating, but okay. you know. So, anyways, yeah, that's that's the plan. Well, again, if there's anything the EPC can do to facilitate, we certainly stand ready to assist. Good, thank you very much. So, is this meeting going to be televised? This meeting? Yes, it will be. Okay. It's going to be aired. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, it's just not going live tonight, but they are taping it so they can air it at a later okay. date. We don't know the date yet, but Mark, I'm sure, will get back to us and let us know. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Anything Thanks. else from our remaining audience? No? Okay. Outstanding. <laughs> I thought it was Thanks, great. Dale. Really, I thought it was a really, <laughs> really nice good. presentation. Yeah. I thought Mr. Wynn did a really nice job. Uh, yeah. Very informative. Um, okay, so our next meeting is going to be on July 17th at the uh, Ranch Falls Verde City Hall, and I'd certainly encourage everybody to come out and, uh, and uh, attend that meeting. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Aye, sir. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. And just one Thank thing you. for you guys to think about. Next meeting, we're going to talk about the work plan. So nice. Get the, okay. get the wheels of turn in there. Yeah. So that thing I said, if you tap on it, it'll add it to your contract. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah, so I'd be on the...